Richard Gray here reporting live for the CP Media team with, with Oscar at the front runner. Oscar, you're a bit of a, uh, uh, got a bit of experience in the half marathon running field. Uh, yes. I just thought we'd have a quick chat about pacing. We've got a few half marathons coming up. We've got yep. St. Clair, we've got Christchurch Half, we've got Hamner Half, and I'm sure there's a few others that yep. I haven't thought of. Yep. Um, how do you pace yourself for a half marathon? What yeah. do you do? Yes, yeah, so I think it comes down to a little bit of what the, the training that you've done mm -hmm. um, and how confident you feel that you can, um, the pace you can go for the, the time you think it's going to take you to, to get there, and you yep. might have done some practice around that. Uh, and then for me, look, I, I break it down into 3K chunks. They're manageable um, distances. 2021K yep. on its own is a bit like, well, it's a, yep. long, it's a long way, something in 3K. Um, how fast can I get in that 3K? Is there a landmark that I've picked out maybe yep. around that 3K mark? Okay, I've got there, um, and then I'm resetting the head, and I'm going, okay, next 3K. Yep. That might not, not have been as fast as I wanted. It might have been faster than I wanted. That was yep. gone now. I can't think about it. Yep. Now I'm on to the next lot. Just done yeah. some quick maths, maths in my head. That's seven lots of three k. Yeah. So seven runs you're doing rather yep. than one whole run. Correct. Yeah, yep. and, I, and that was something um, I feel costly my high school um, track coach sort of passed on to mm -hmm. us then. So yep. now I've kind of kept that uh, for the half and the marathon. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. For sure. Good stuff. Yeah. So the, um, we're and we're. I think the other key thing is how fast do we go off the start line? Yep. Amongst that as well. Yep. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, a little bit harder for me because I'm racing. Mm -hmm. um, so if I feel like I can uh, finish up the front, I've got to go with it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that could maybe a question for you. What do yep. you think around that? Um, should you get carried away uh, or should you lock in a little bit of time early or maybe yeah, yeah. should you think... Is it, is it nicer passing people in the finish? Yeah, I guess for me, I think it's, yeah, it depends on what your goals are for a start. So if you're trying to do your time, I think mm. actually don't look at your watch for the first couple of Ks and just run and get kind of swept along. Set, settle in. And then, yep. hey, you might put a little bit of time in the bank and then go back to your what pace am I looking to mm. run from there. Yeah. If you're looking to, can I just finish this thing? Mm. I'd say start a bit slower and, and mm. start as you mean to continue. Yep. Um, and then also I think it comes down to actually thinking, well, it's fine to walk and walking mm. through those drink yeah, stations. Absolutely. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, nothing wrong with um, with walking through a drink station, making sure you're getting a little bit of electrolytes on board, mate, maybe make you having your gel every second every mm. second station, just to make sure those things are actually going in and it's going to en enable you to do that, that activity for two or two and a half hours or yeah, whatever right. that, yeah, exactly. that time is. And that's the job, as you say, is yeah. just to actually finish and finish yeah. well and enjoy the end of the race. There's nothing better than, than running past that guy in the green shorts at yeah. the end because you're feeling good there, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. And I think if you take a little bit of time it's only 45 seconds that can save you five minutes at the other end mm. so you've got to think like that too yeah, yeah. cool well yeah. done okay Easy. we'll see you out there done